Welcome to another Python Basics course on RealPython.com. I'm Philip, and today you'll learn about modules and packages. At this point, you probably have run a single Python script and feel somewhat comfortable with it. But how about coordinating multiple Python scripts in one project? As you gain experience writing code, you'll eventually work on projects that are so large that keeping all the code in a single Python file becomes cumbersome. Instead of writing a single file, you can put related code into separate files. These files can be put together like building blocks to create a larger application. In Python, these building blocks are called modules. During this course, you're using IDLE, which stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. IDLE comes with most Python distributions out of the box. If you need a quick refresher on using IDLE, then check out one of our video courses in the Python Basics series entitled Setting Up Python. Alternatively, if you want to take a deeper dive, then you may watch the Starting with Python IDLE video course. Of course, you can use any other editor of your choice, but if you want to follow along closely, it's a good idea to stick with IDLE for this video course. In this course, you'll learn how to create your own modules. You'll also learn how to use modules in another file via the import statement and adjust import statements to avoid namespace conflicts. Also, you'll learn how to organize several modules into a package. And if some of those terms don't make sense to you yet, no worries, that's what the course is for. So let's get started. A module is a file containing Python code that can be reused in other Python code files. That means that technically, every Python file that you've created so far is a module. That's it. Congratulations on finishing this video course on modules. Okay, hold on, hold on. You may have involuntarily created a module in Python, but you may have not seen how to use code from one module inside another. Let's see how this works. Open idle and start a new editor window. In the editor window, define a function named add that returns the sum of its two parameters, def add parentheses x comma y, closing parentheses, colon, and then on the next line indented, return x plus y. Save the file adder.py on your computer in a new directory named my project. Just like you learned a moment ago, adder.py is a Python module. So far, so good. Now, open another editor window and type the following code. Value equals add opening parentheses 2, 2, and then a closing parentheses. In the next line, print value. Save the file as main.py in the same my project folder. That's important. It must be in the same folder. So make sure to save it in the My Project folder on your computer. Then run the module. Oops. OK, when the module runs, you'll see a name error displayed in IDLE's interactive window. The important part here is the last line of the traceback. Name error, name, add is not defined. The name error occurs because add is defined in adder.py and not in main.py. That's the file you ran. So if you think a moment, then this error makes sense. How should Python know that you mean the add function from the adder.py file? In order to use add in main.py, you must first import the adder module. So let's do this next. Make sure that you're in the editor window of idle for main.py, and then add the following line to the top of the file. Import adder. So that's basically the file name of the other file, only without the .py extension. And that's an important detail, because the name you use to import the module, adder, is the same as the module's file name, adder.py. For this reason, Module file names must be valid Python identifiers. That means they may only contain upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and underscores. And they may not start with a digit. These are the same rules for naming Python variables. Add one blank line after the import statement and leave the rest of your code unchanged. 
When you import one module into another, the contents of the imported module become available in the other. The module with the import statement is called the calling module. In this example, adder.py is the imported module and main.py is the calling module. The term calling module comes from the fact that you're calling the imported function in this module. You defined the function in adder.py, but you're calling it in main.py, which makes main.py the calling module. Save main.py and then run the module again. Unfortunately, the name error exception is still raised. And the reason for this is because add can only be accessed from the adder namespace. So what is a namespace? A namespace is a collection of names, such as variable names, function names, and class names. It's important to remember that also every Python module has its own namespace. So you need to pay attention to the namespace. And depending on in which file you're in, you need to work with the namespace differently. And that's the reason why the import doesn't work yet. So let's fix it. Variables, functions, and classes in a module can be accessed from within the same module by just typing their name. Let me show you what I mean by that. If you add the two lines of code that you used in main.py, in adder.py, and then run the code, then the code should work. So at the end of adder.py, add the line value equals add 2, 2. On the next line, print value, and then you run it then it works. And the reason for this is because you're accessing add from within the same file. They're in the same module and therefore in the same namespace. So that was just an example for the namespace inside of one module. Remove both lines of code, the value variable definition and the print function call, save the file and get back to main.py. So adder.py should look like it was at the beginning with only the add function definition. Now switch to main.py. To access a name in an imported module from the calling module, type the imported module's name followed by a dot, and then the name you want to use. For instance, to use add of the adder module, you need to type adder.add. So now the line looks value equals adder.add, and then two and two as the arguments. Save the file and run the module. Perfect, the value 4 is printed in the interactive window. Here is what happened. When you type import adder at the beginning of the main.py Python file, the imported module's entire namespace is added to the namespace of the calling module under the name of the imported module. So in this case, adder. Before we wrap up this lesson, let me show you one more cool thing. Any new variables or functions that you add to adder.py will be accessible in main.py without you having to import anything new. So open the editor window for adder.py and add the following function below the function definition of add. def double parentheses x colon and then as the function body return x plus x. Save the adder.py file and then open the editor window for main.py and add the following code after your print call. Double underscore value equals adder dot double and then you pass in value as the argument. That's the variable you define two lines above. And then in the next line, you do a print function call for double underscore value. Now save and run main.py. When you run the module, there is no error and the values 4 and 8 is displayed in the interactive window. So since double already exists in the adder namespace, no name error is raised and you can use it right away. That's pretty convenient. And if you aren't convinced yet why modules are handy, let me show you a slide with some bold words on it.